In this video, I'm talking about the first possible cure for hearing loss, coming up. Hi guys, Cliff Olson, Doctor of Audiology and founder of Applied Hearing Solutions in Phoenix, Arizona. And on this channel, I cover a bunch of hearing related information to help make you a better informed consumer. So if you're into that, make sure you hit that subscribe button. And don't forget to click the bell to receive a notification every time I post a new video. Hearing loss is one of the most common disabilities in the world. In fact, the World Health Organization estimates that about 5% of the entire world's population has disabling hearing loss. That equals about 466 million individuals. Furthermore, they estimate that in 30 years from now, that number is going to rise to 900 million individuals. Currently, hearing treatment for sensory neural hearing loss, which is the most common form of hearing loss, can only be treated with devices like hearing aids and cochlear implants. Sensory neural hearing loss is caused when the inner or outer hair cells inside of the cochlea become damaged, usually as a result of aging, noise exposure, or ototoxic medications. This makes finding a cure for sensory neural hearing loss something that is really high on the priority list, especially for individuals who have hearing loss and any individual that communicates regularly with someone else who has hearing loss. Over the past several years, a biotech company called Frequency Therapeutics has been hard at work trying to develop a drug to actually treat sensory neural hearing loss, and that drug that they've been developing is called FX322. Now according to Frequency Therapeutics, FX322 is designed to treat the underlying cause of sensory neural hearing loss by regenerating hair cells through activation of progenitor cells already present in the cochlea. The way that FX322 is designed to work is to use small molecules designed to stimulate the dormant progenitor cells already inside of the cochlea. The drug is injected through the eardrum where the gel-like material contacts the round window membrane, allowing the molecular compound to diffuse into the cochlea and stimulate these progenitor cells. In time, these progenitor cells may be able to actually regenerate hair cells that have been lost, ultimately restoring the normal function of an ear. Frequency Therapeutics has already completed two phases of FDA trials. The phase one safety trial was completed in early 2018, and it was shown to not have any adverse side effects of this drug on individuals who had already committed to undergo cochlear implantation. In their phase one, phase two trial that was completed in April of 2019, they tested the FX322 drug to see if it was safe in comparison to a placebo on individuals who had sudden sensory neural hearing loss or who had noise-induced hearing loss and again they found that there was no serious adverse side effects. The more exciting news is that they actually showed improvement in hearing function in relation to word recognition scores where they showed about a 30% improvement over the course of a 90-day window in the group of individuals that was actually treated with the FX322 drug. The placebo group had no improvement over that same period of time. The other exciting news is that the treatment group actually saw an improvement in their word understanding in noise that would be more indicative of a social situation. Situation. They saw an improvement of 20% versus only a 5% improvement in the placebo group. The not so exciting news is that there was no significant improvement in pure tone threshold. So think the X's and the O's on an audiogram. There was no significant improvement in those X's and O's, meaning that their hearing sensitivity had not really improved. There were a few individuals in the study that saw about a 10 decibel improvement at 8,000 hertz, so that upper frequency range that we typically test. But other than that, it had really no big impact on pure tone thresholds. This means that as of right now, based on my interpretation of these results, is that this FX320 22 drug shows promise for regenerating the progenitor cells that would stimulate inner hair cell growth, but maybe not necessarily outer hair cell growth. Inner hair cells are what control the word recognition ability of an individual, so your percentage correct on word scores, whereas the outer hair cells typically are indicative of what you would actually show on an audiogram with the X's and the O's in the pure tone thresholds. Now this information bodes really well for individuals who already use hearing aids or who are willing to start using hearing aids aids but have bad word recognition, but it doesn't bode so well for individuals who are either putting off hearing treatment or who refuse to do hearing treatment because they're waiting for some kind of a miracle cure. Until we see improvements in the hearing sensitivity of individuals, so think the X's and the O's on the audiogram, then you're still going to have to utilize hearing aids in order to gain audibility. But if you're someone who has bad word recognition ability, this drug could be a godsend, meaning that your hearing aids could actually be more effective for you. 
The other good news coming out of this is that the FDA has fast-tracked frequency therapeutics phase 2A clinical trials that will be exploring the efficacy of FX322 versus the placebo for individuals with sensorineural hearing loss, noise-induced hearing loss, and sudden sensorineural hearing loss. The estimated completion date of this 96-participant 210-day clinical trial will be September 30th of 2020, so go ahead and mark your calendars because we should be able to hear some exciting news by the end of the year. That's it for this video. If you have any questions, leave them in the comment section below. If you like the video, please share it. And if you want to see other videos just like this one, go ahead and hit that subscribe button. Also, feel free to check out my website, drcliffaud.com.